Starship is currently the largest rocket ever developed, designed to revolutionize space travel. SpaceX is developing it as a fully reusable spacecraft for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. With each test, the company gathers critical data to refine and improve its design. Starship stands at 120 meters tall, making it larger than the Saturn V, which was 110 meters tall. While Saturn V generated 7.6 million pounds of thrust, Starship's Super Heavy Booster produces over 16 million pounds of thrust. This immense power allows it to carry more than 150 metric tons to orbit. The rocket's reusability is a key feature, designed to reduce launch costs significantly compared to previous spaceflight technologies. Developing such a massive and complex vehicle comes with engineering challenges. SpaceX has encountered various technical issues in its seven test flights so far. Some problems have been minor, while others have resulted in failures. However, each test provides data that SpaceX uses to improve the vehicle's reliability and performance. The latest test, Flight 7, took place on January 16, 2025, at SpaceX's Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. The mission used Booster 14 and Ship 33. The Super Heavy Booster executed a successful landing maneuver, being caught by the launch tower's chopstick arms. This marked a significant milestone in SpaceX's goal of making Starship fully reusable. However, Ship 33 experienced a catastrophic failure before completing its mission. Initially, analysts suspected an engine or flight control system malfunction. However, further investigation revealed that the failure stemmed from a structural issue in the aft section of Ship 33, leading to a loss of vehicle integrity. SpaceX has since been working on design modifications to prevent similar failures in upcoming flights. Following the incident, SpaceX determined that a fire in Ship 33's aft section caused what is known as a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Musk explained that the fire resulted from a leak in the methane fuel line above the engine firewall, which caused a pressure breach. The methane pipe, which connects the main fuel line to the engine's turbine pump system, was identified as the failure point. This pipe is particularly vulnerable due to its curved shape and location. Initially, the leak may have been minor, but it grew over time, compromising nearby components. Eventually, the leaked fuel ignited due to the high temperature environment. The first sign of failure was detected at T plus 7 minutes and 39 seconds when one of the sea level gimbal engines malfunctioned. This triggered a series of cascading failures. The explosion of the first engine generated a shockwave that impacted surrounding systems, including the starboard aft flap and adjacent engines. Soon after, a second sea level engine failed, followed by two vacuum optimized engines. With only two engines still operational, Ship 33 lost stability. At that point, the flight termination system was triggered, causing the explosion at approximately T plus 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Analysis suggests that the explosion split Ship 33 into two major sections. The centrally located FTS likely caused the vehicle to break along its midsection. Footage from the test flight showed two types of debris trails, one red-orange and another blue-white, indicating different materials burning at different temperatures. The debris followed separate trajectories, helping SpaceX identify the final wreckage locations. Looking ahead, SpaceX is preparing for Flight 8, scheduled for February 24th. This upcoming test will feature Booster 15 and Ship 34. The mission objectives include a successful launch, stage separation, and the controlled landing of both the booster and the Starship. Booster 15 underwent a cryogenic proof test on December 29, 2024, where its tanks were filled with liquid nitrogen to simulate flight conditions, validating its structural integrity under extreme temperatures and pressures. On February 9, 2025, a static fire test was conducted with all 33 Raptor engines ignited while the booster remained secured to the launch mount. The goal was to assess engine performance, verify propulsion system functionality, and ensure successful integration of the engines with the booster. Ship 34 was transported to Massey's test site on January 15, 2025, and underwent cryogenic proof tests on January 17th and 18th. 
liquid nitrogen was used to confirm the structural integrity of the ship's tanks under cryogenic conditions. After these tests, the ship was returned to the assembly site for final outfitting, including the installation of its Raptor engines and aerodynamic flaps. Further tests are scheduled before Flight 8. Ambient pressure tests will be conducted to check for leaks and verify the integrity of the fuel and oxidizer tanks under standard atmospheric conditions. Avionics and systems checks will follow, ensuring that the ship's guidance, navigation, and control systems function properly. A static fire test will be performed, during which Ship 34's Raptor engines will be ignited while the vehicle remains secured to assess engine performance and overall system integration. Meanwhile, Boeing's Starliner's stranded astronauts are finally set to return soon with SpaceX's Crew Dragon. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who originally launched to the International Space Station aboard Boeing's Starliner in June 2024, were supposed to return after an eight-day mission. However, due to multiple technical issues with the spacecraft, their return was delayed indefinitely. Now, after nearly nine months in space, they are scheduled to come back to Earth aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon during the upcoming Crew-9 mission. The issues with Starliner became apparent shortly after docking with the International Space Station. Engineers detected multiple helium leaks in the spacecraft's propulsion system, which could compromise its ability to safely maneuver in space. Additionally, five of the eight reaction control thrusters failed during the approach to the station further raising concerns about the spacecraft's reliability. While Boeing and NASA initially planned to resolve these problems in orbit, further assessments indicated that the safest option was to leave Starliner at the International Space Station and return it to Earth uncrewed for thorough investigation. NASA had originally hoped to send Wilmore and Williams back aboard Starliner once the issues were addressed, but with no immediate fix, an alternative solution was required. SpaceX's Crew Dragon was identified as the most viable option for their safe return. The plan now is for the astronauts to return to Earth aboard Crew Dragon when the Crew-9 mission departs the International Space Station, which has been delayed, but is currently targeted for late March 2025. This situation underscores the challenges of human spaceflight and the importance of having multiple transportation options. While Boeing's Starliner was developed under NASA's commercial crew program alongside SpaceX's Crew Dragon, its technical struggles have highlighted the reliability gap between the two vehicles. SpaceX's Crew Dragon has now become the primary transport for NASA astronauts, successfully completing multiple crewed missions to and from the International Space Station without major technical failures. Starliner didn't just leave astronauts on the International Space Station, it damaged Boeing's reputation. The spacecraft was supposed to be a reliable alternative to SpaceX's Crew Dragon under NASA's commercial crew program. Boeing was awarded a $4.2 billion contract in 2014 to develop it, but after more than a decade, the company has yet to deliver a fully operational spacecraft. Meanwhile, SpaceX, which received $2.6 billion under the same program, has already completed multiple crewed missions without major issues. Boeing's problems with Starliner started early. In 2019, the first uncrewed test flight failed to reach the International Space Station due to software malfunctions. The company had to repeat the test in 2022, causing more delays and extra costs. Even after completing the second uncrewed test, Starliner was still not ready for regular missions. Boeing has lost over $2 billion on the Starliner program, and costs keep rising. Even though NASA awarded them a fixed-price contract, Boeing has had to spend more than $1 billion of its own money to fix problems. Because of this, there are reports that Boeing is considering selling its space division, but so far, no buyers have shown interest. With no successful crewed missions completed, Starliner has failed to provide the backup option NASA expected. As a result, NASA has had to depend almost entirely on SpaceX's Crew Dragon. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Stay.